I'm Aoife and I'm going to be finding out what it's like to work as an entomologist here in the museum studying at mosquitoes. I'm going to meet Yvonne Linton shortly and hopefully she's going to take me out into the field. We're going to do some collecting and even go back to the laboratory a bit later on. So let's go meet her. Hi Yvonne, hi Renita. Hello, hi guys. Hi. Nice to see you again. Yep, yep. Cool. So you're going to take me out of the field today and I'm going to get an idea about what you guys get up to during a, a typical day in your life here at the museum. Just to Absolutely. start us off, um, could you tell us what, what you work on here at the museum, Yvonne? Um, basically, the work that we do here is um, on mosquitoes, um, mainly mosquitoes that transmit diseases like malaria and, and dengue fever, West Nile virus. Mm -hmm. We'll go um, and do some collecting first of all. Um, we're going to go down to the Kent Marshes and Renita's going to come and help us as well. So we've got all the equipment ready if you're, yeah. if you're ready to go. <laughs> Um, basically, um, here in UK, not many people realise that mosquitoes are actually a bit of a problem in certain areas. We're actually going to, going to look and, and find out which mosquitoes are here, what they're biting, and one of the, the key things with mosquitoes is to determine where they like to rest so that you could maybe spray them in the resting habitat. Okay, so we could head off in a moment and go to the first site. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I'm actually going to have a go at collecting mosquitoes with you. What, what kind of things do I need to do? What are the tools of the trade? Well, basically, we're quite simple here in the mosquitoes uh, trade because um, this is a very simple aspirator. We call it a pooter. And um, all the, that it is is just a glass tube so that you can see the mosquito, uh, a rubber tube which is more flexible so that you can actually um, suck up the mosquito. And um, there is just one tiny piece of gauze in between which stops you breathing in the mosquito. So this, this place behind us here is an ideal place. It's an old war bunker. And um, basically, it's a little bit overgrown as you can see, but we have to battle our way and try and get inside. Um, and then there should be lots of lovely mosquitoes just waiting in there for us. You can actually suck up from this end, um, aim for your mosquito, and you're actually going to just suck in so the mosquito comes down the tube, and then you can just put your finger over and keep the mosquito. Okay. So, so give me a quick demo. And that's the mosquito in the tube here. And then just pop it in there. Do you need to blow it out again to yeah, yeah. blow it out, yeah. Okay, right. So, okay, so now look. Um, and the thing to do is, is to go up and get your angle and then suck. Don't, don't go... <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Yeah. Okay. So... Yeah, oh, I got him. Yeah, Hey, nice cool. <laughs> <laughs> do they all make that whining noise when, yep. you, um, when you collect them? It's actually the noise of their wings. So yeah, um, we came out here just to have a look and see um, if we could find some, some brackish water mosquitoes. That's mosquitoes that like to, to lay their eggs and, and to rear up um, as immatures in, in slightly salty water. So we're, we're right on the coast here. Somebody very kindly dumped an old tyre here for us. And if you have a look in the, in the tyre itself, you can see that the rainwater is actually collected in this tyre. And you can see from here there's absolutely tons. There's a of lot of mosquitoes in there. In there. So what we're going to do is we're going to directly use the pipette, okay. squeeze it first, uh, aim for your larvae and hope for the best. <laughs> there you go. Did I get it? Yeah, it's right at the tip. <laughs> oh, it's right at the tip. Okay, cool, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, so I think I've got quite a few in here now. You've done very well, Ethia. <laughs> very, very well. Do you reckon I could like come and work on your research team? Yeah. <laughs> a, bit practice, a bit more practice. A bit more yeah. practice. Okay. I'll keep going and see if I can get some more. Um, so we're down here now in the molecular lab, and you can see Renita and I have our lab hooks on. So we've got one here. Uh, one for me too. Ready for you. Fantastic. There you go. Um, Any time that you're working with DNA, it's essential that you you wear a lab coat. It's um, really to protect yourself from any of the chemicals that we're going to use, but also um, to stop contamination of any of the hairs or anything on your body going into our DNA and ruining our experiments. So this is the, the molecular lab, and one of the first things you must do is wear gloves. So these bright blue ones are quite obvious. 
So what we're going to do is um, go and get the mosquitoes that we collect as adults. And we've actually put those in the freezer um, just to kill them. Here they are. Well, it looks like we've got quite a good haul looking at the, uh, the ones we collected today. There's even some quite large specimens in mm. here. These are Anopheles mosquitoes with spotted wings, but there's three different species here in UK. So we can't actually tell any, any more about them, even looking down the microscope. So we look for these Anopheles mosquitoes with the spotted wings, and then we always do DNA analysis on those. So basically we just take the mosquito and pop it directly into these tubes here. In order to get the most DNA out of the mosquito is actually to grind it up. Ah, right. So um, basically we just put this pestle in here. Mosquito soup? Uh, yeah, basically. Do you want a shot? Yeah, hey back. Uh, definitely. <laughs> uh, my legs are covered in bites. So. Okay. Ah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm feeling a good sense of satisfaction here. Nice. Is that good? Excellent. Yeah, there's hardly anything there. There you go. So, Mosquito brilliant. soup. <laughs> um, so what we need to do is, is clean up the DNA. And we just do that by a series of different washes. Mm -hmm. So we've done all our washes, so in here should be our fresh new clean DNA. It looks quite a lot like water evolved. <laughs> so well, this is actually DNA. That's DNA in there. Um, I think people are quite surprised because uh, um, they may be expected to be a colour or um, the DNA itself is actually just suspended um, through the fluid there. So how do you go about actually looking at the DNA if, it, if it's colourless? How do you see it? Well basically what we do is um, we load it onto what we call a gel. It's just basically jelly uh, that we run an electric current through and we add dye to it and that dye actually fluoresces under ultraviolet light so then we can see our DNA. So although still we won't be able to, you know, see it, um, if you like, then, then we can actually see it under the UV light, so. So here we are, this is um, the computerised um, visual aid for looking at the gels. So what we do is actually, um, all the UV light, because it's very dangerous for your eyes, is actually contained within um, this machine here. And you can see here that this plate here is an ultraviolet, so we just carefully transfer the gel onto that. Oh, that looks hopeful. Wow, wow. It looks definitely that we have at least two different species that we collected today and, and that your DNA worked very well. Hey, well fantastic. done. <laughs> so I've got potential then maybe as, a, as an entomologist <laughs> at the museum. We'll give you a job. Hey, fantastic. <laughs> Great. Well, well, thank you so much for showing me what it's like to, to work here in a museum a day in your life. I have to say it's been a very, very busy day. <laughs> Quite exciting. I've tried lots of different uh, techniques and things from collecting in the field to working in a laboratory. I think it's now though I'm, uh, I'm going to head off and go to bed because <laughs> it's been very tiring. So thank well, you. Thank you for much. all your help. Cheers. Brilliant. Goodbye. Bye.